Good morning. Good morning. This is Monica Graves, and I am here for our Mindset Monday. Hope everything is going well for you this morning. Um, it is a beautiful day here in Colorado, and I hope that where you are, you're also having great weather. It's also wonderful to wake up on a Monday morning and um, just see that the weather's out there. Um, I, I wonder where um, people are from, and that you can chat with me and let me know. But uh, today is the um, you know first Monday of October. Last Monday was September thirtieth, and we are starting this third, or I'm sorry, fourth quarter of the year. And I always want to um, look at my business and look at how I can improve my business, improve my mindset, because really, when you do that um, and you're looking at your business, you want to look at it in a positive way. Um, knowing that we're going into this last quarter is really what I do um, is look at who who can I make phone calls to, um, checking in with people, looking at the uh, market trends. That's what happened for the first, um, you know, nine months of the year. And how can you improve? And also that aspect of how can you improve, improve your emotions. And so what we're going to talk about today is called the emotional guidance system. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the emotional guidance system. It's from the, um, the book called Getting Into the Vortex, and it's by Esther and Jerry Hicks. So if you've ever heard of Esther and Jerry Hicks, they were actually one of the first uh, people to write a book about the law of attraction. So... I've read that book and the, the book was published a while back. Uh, I think it actually was published in the 70s and then they brought it back, uh, you know, republished it because the law of attraction um, really over the last 10 to 15 years has really gained in uh, mindset and, and thinking positively. And so with the law of attraction, we know um, when you talk about that, you're talking about that level of vibrational energy. So sometimes when I start talking about Esther and Jerry Hicks, especially especially Esther, because she talks so much about um, Abraham Hicks, which is the entity that speaks uh, through her, and and she writes down. That's how she wrote the book Law of Attraction, and how she wrote the book Getting Into the Vortex. Um, getting into the, the vortex talks a lot about this emotional um, guidance scale and emotional guidance system. And so what I'd like to do is is share a little bit of that with you today, because I think that if you look at your business, like I said, look at your business plan, look at what you need to be doing the next three months to the end of the year, so that when 2025 gets here, you are already in that high energy, pushing yourself into the new year with lots of activities that you've done, you know, October, November, December, so that January, when it hits, you're on a trajectory. I do this every single uh, fourth quarter because I know that, um, November has Thanksgiving and then December has Christmas and all these other um, holidays that we celebrate. And that's the time to be making your phone calls. Okay. That's the time to be reaching out to people. And when you look at this emotional guidance, it gives you that opportunity to reach out and see how you can help people. All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you here. Hold on just a second. Let me get it open. Um, well, I was trying to, let's see, maybe I can, hold on just a second. All right. 
the share. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. So um, I, I put this together because I wanted you to uh, know who I got my materials from. And if you've never heard of Gabby Bernstein, she's an amazing author that has written so many books that one of the best books that uh, she's written was The Universe Has Your Back. And there's another book um, called The Super Attractor. And in The Super Attractor, she talks about this Abraham Hicks method called the emotional guidance system. So um, it's, it's what we do when we're in a low vibration. We can move up this emotional guidance scale, okay? And as you move up the scale, your attraction will shift. And what I mean by the attraction part of it is, is that law of attraction. As you have the higher vibration, um, that frequency of what's happen happening around us will actually lift our vibration. And the higher our vi vibration is, of course, we're going to attract more positive things to us. So what she describes is how to move up this emotional guidance scale is, is really, it's about, excuse me, it's about moving up so that, um, you know, again, you're attracting different things. You're attracting higher vibration because you're in a higher vibration emotion. So the next time you notice yourself, you know, you don't feel too good about something and you're like, you know, I, my business is not doing as well as I want it to be, or you've got some other uh, emotional type things going on. Maybe you've got some debt. Maybe uh, you're experiencing some, some things that are bringing you down. The best thing to move up on that emotional guidance is to be of service. So we're in the customer service business, right? We know that we're in the customer service business. And so if you can feel good about what you're doing, you will attract more people to you that you can actually help. So if you have friends that you can support, a family member or somebody that, or even, you know, with your clients, just pick up the phone. So I try to do that on uh, Mondays because people experience some things over the weekend. And usually it's a, it's a good phone call. You know, I'm checking in. How was your weekend? It gives you something to talk about. I use Ford. If you've ever heard of Ford, um, because I was a ninja instructor for 13 years, I was always coaching my agents on Ford. Friends, occupation, recreation, dreams. So when you pick up the phone and you want to be of service, a lot of times it could start with that. How's your family? You know, how are, how are, the, how are things going with uh, your business? And then also, you know, did you do something fun? Okay, that can be part of the dreams, part of, of, of uh, getting, getting that for them to talk about stuff with you. And what happens when you do that, you know, you can ask the question, because sometimes people may start talking about things like, oh, I just lost my job, I'm, I'm in the interviewing process right now, or, um, well, things aren't going so good. They might tell you that someone has died, they might tell you that somebody's sick, they might tell you that um, they aren't doing very well with their investment properties. There's all kinds of things that can come up that you can spend just a few minutes on seeing how you can help them. It doesn't hurt to say, how can I help you today? Is there anything that I can do that can help you? They, they, can, they can say, well, you know what? I really need somebody. I've got to go to a funeral. I, I need somebody to help. Um, watch my dogs. I've had that situation happen with me before with clients when I've called. And I'll say, you know what? Let me see if I can find somebody to help watch your, your dogs for you while you go away. There's all these little things that you can do with customer service that's going to make you feel better because you're doing it, but also it's going to make them feel better so that they can tell others, you know what? Monica helped me in, in my time of need. She's got a lot of connections. Um, here's her telephone number. Reach out to her. And, and it, it, 
what happens is you become, you know, on a high energy level with them every time they think about you. And then when you've supported them on something, all of a sudden they want to support you. They want to support you and your business and who you are. Another way to get out of the, you know, lower mood and, and increase your vibration is to get into that vibrate, excuse me, vibrational alignment. That's more about appreciation. So I do this with my husband. I do this with my kids and it, it helps when you appreciate things because anytime you want to switch your vibration or switch your uh, worry is to be grateful. And so when you're in that state of appreciation, you can't worry and appreciate at the same time. It's just impossible. They can't coexist at the same time. You can go into different thoughts at different moments, but you can't be grateful for something and then be in a uh, anxiety type of feeling at the same time. It just can't happen. So whenever you start to notice yourself worrying, what I do is start counting my blessings. And, you know, if that worry comes up, let's say um, you're, you know, really tight with money and you are trying to um, pay your mortgage, you know, this is the first week of the month and you got to pay all your bills. And a lot of times when you're, you know, when money's involved, we can shift into that lower vibration of thinking we don't have enough. So start focusing on things that you're grateful for and you can easily switch that vibrational energy to a higher vibration just by appreciating things. So play it with a friend. I play it with my husband. You know, a lot of times he'll have things that he's worried about or he'll start bringing it up and, and I'm in a great mood and all of a sudden my mood shifts to his mood and now we're both coming up with negative things and, and complaining and it's it's a terrible place to be and I know you've been there yourself because it can happen and that that's again that's that energy if somebody has low energy and you come in that it's almost like a magnet where you'll your energy low energy is start to um, feed off of what they're saying. So do this just saying, you know what, let's have, let's play the appreciation game. Let's tell each other what we're thankful for with each other. And, you know, this is where I say, you know, I, I love it that you're there for me. Sorry about my dogs. Hope you don't hear those in the background. One second. Don't you love Zoom calls? <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. So anyway, um, being a appreciative, you know, like I said, if you do that with a friend, do it with your husband, do it with your spouse, do it with, um, you know, a friend, pick up, pick up the phone call and say, you know, I just want to talk to you and just let you know how thankful I am that you're in my life. Now, it could be a situation where you want to just play by yourself, play this appreciation guy, uh, by yourself. And you want to try to say things out loud if you can. So I do a lot of being grateful for things in my head, but I also write things down because I feel like if I, if I do these positive affirmations and by writing them down, that helps with that energy as well. And just think of all the things that you're grateful for in the morning before you start your day, but also before you go to bed at night is also a great time because you want to have good sleep. You want to be able to uh, think about everything that you've done in the day and be appreciative of the things that, that have happened. So appreciate all the people who are supporting you. Appreciate the people that you love. Appreciate the people that love you. Um, if you have a, a home and, and you are love the home that you have, appreciate that. Appreciate that you ha have water. I keep thinking about all the people, you know, from this hurricane where 
they don't have the necessities. They, they don't have electricity. They don't have water. And how can you do something of service to help those people? That's going to raise your vibration as well. And think about you have clothes, you have shoes. Um, when you get to eat, you know, I, I always, I was brought up, um, you know, always saying thanks for right before you, you eat because there are so many people that don't have, you know, three meals a day or have enough food to eat and, and just know that when you have enough, you need to be grateful. And, and again, writing it down, um, get out of that fear base that you don't have enough and put the things down on piece of paper that you do have. All right. It's, it's such a great way to distract yourself. And, and that's the other thing that I'm going to talk about, how you can distract. One of the fastest ways is to go, get up on that emotional guidance scale is to do something that makes you feel good. So, you know, I love hiking in nature here in Colorado. I love being out um, with the sunshine. And, and right now it's beautiful with all the leaves changing. And I see all the uh, beauty of nature around me. How can you not feel good when you do something like that? Um, even if it's just getting on your bike and going for a short ride, um, calling up a friend and saying, hey, I would love to um, just, you know, have a cup of tea with you or let's go for a coffee. Let's go for a happy hour. Um, if you have children, that's one of the best things to do with you as well. Let's do something fun with your kids. I have uh, three dogs and I I always love how their energy uh, changes when I say, you know, let's go play ball. It's the same thing with kids. If you want to do something with them, they, their energy lifts and they're so happy that you're spending time with them. And do the same thing with friends. You haven't seen somebody in a long time or your clients, you know, just offer to take them to lunch. Things like getting somebody out of the house. Yesterday I was, at, at, you know, tied up behind my laptop and I was working on, on a, a counter offer and a friend called and said, Hey, do you want to go paddle boarding? It's a beautiful day outside. Let's go paddle boarding. And I could have easily said no. And that would have put me still behind my laptop being all, you know, getting things done. But I was able to say, you know what, I'm going to take a break, take a break for two hours, go paddle boarding and then come back to this. Boy, did that change my um, energy because I was sitting there, you know, very serious about this. And I know that it had to be done, but we had until tomorrow, I mean, today at seven um, to get that counter proposal back. And so I knew I had the time. Take little breaks, distract yourself. When you can move up the scale by focusing on something other than what is going on, it doesn't mean you need to, you know, ignore it because difficult emotions are there. You need to be involved, but at the same time, you can switch your mindset on how you see things. All of a sudden, you can see things clearer as well. I don't know if you've ever been there where you're focusing so much on, on a problem that you can't see the solution, right? I know you've been there, um, especially when it comes to real estate. And you've got your seller all emotional or your buyer's all emotional, and then you get wrapped up in their emotions. You can't even see the, the solution because you're so focused on that. But when you step out and distract yourself, you come back to the solution and, and your mind is more open. So celebrate every step, every little step that you do in life. You're going to have situations that are going to put you backwards. Okay. There's things that you might want that haven't happened yet. And then you might see somebody else, you know, get that instead of you, um, like getting a listing, try not to beat yourself up. So, so much you might, um, what I wrote here is, you know, you might be scrolling through Instagram or FaceTime and I mean, uh, Facebook and, and you you see something like somebody taking this great vacation that you've always wanted and you still haven't been able to save up enough money to go on that vacation. 
you know, first of all, put your phone down, get out of that. And again, go back to the things that you have done. All right. You know what? Maybe I haven't taken that vacation, but I did just spend, you know, a weekend with my kids. Um, I got to travel. Maybe it's just a drive to another city to be with your kids. You know, know that you are still climbing to get to that thing that you want, but celebrate those steps to get there. When you have a closing, I always celebrate it with my clients with, you know, a, a nice lunch or a nice dinner or taking them uh, somewhere, doing a client appreciation party. Celebrate the people around you because when you celebrate them, they celebrate you. And sometimes, you know, again, it's up to you to make that decision. And I love this right here. Start your day today. I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. There's so much surrounding us, us right now that, that, you know, I'm very sensitive to it. Um, sometimes I can feel, you know, the, the, the way other people are feeling and, and I want to know how I can help. And, you know, you see the negative news, you see a lot of this going on um, with natural disasters. And the first thing you think about is how terrible it is, but at the same thing, switch it to how can I recalibrate my energy so that I can focus on giving more love and joy and whatever that is, you know, like I said, making those phone calls. I'm I, I'm from Georgia. I had to make a lot of phone calls um, to people that live in Georgia. I made some phone calls to people that I know that live in Florida, and it's it just helps to switch that energy into these three ways of ju of choosing. You know, if you choose to to go down that rabbit hole of negativity, this practice that um, Gabby Bernstein talks about is called the choose again method. And it's just three steps. First, you notice the thought. Don't give any kind of feeling to it. Just notice it. Forgive that negative thought and then choose again. Choose how to change that thought. Um, I promise you it'll help because if you choose that, if you do that three step method, here comes a, a negative thought and you're like, you could, you could spend an hour on that negative thought, but instead say, okay, I noticed that I just had that negative thought. Don't beat yourself up about it. And just say, you know what? Forgive myself for thinking that now I'm going to move forwards with this thought. That's more about love, more about compassion, more about service to others. And again, do something so that you can get yourself out of that negative thought. So last thing, you know, I want to wrap up here is stay on that wave of possibility, of positivity. Okay. So a lot of times we can switch our thoughts to positive, but then within 15 minutes, we're, we're back into that negative cycle because it's possible that you, you know, were able to get out of it for a second and then something else can happen. Um, but if you try to stay, you know, increasing your positive energy, reclaiming that positive moment, it's going to help you to feel better. And once you feel better, you know, you have to be honest with yourself and say, okay, I want to, I want to choose that best thought again, because it, Again, you know, it could be 15 minutes go by and all of a sudden you're thinking negative again. Do the three-step method. Forgive that thought. How can you choose a better thought? Maybe it's writing down what you're grateful for again. Maybe it's, it's calling up somebody and saying, you know what? I keep having these negative feelings about stuff and I keep getting so anxious. Can, can we meet and, and, and let's talk together? Maybe, maybe you have a therapist, you know, therapists are always so great in helping you to change your mindset about things. But again, you know, sometimes we get so stuck in that emotion 
that we can't seem to get out of that negative emotion. So again, don't beat yourself up. Honor yourself because again, the love and joy and compassion are those things that are going to help you to change those thoughts. So if you have just a slight shift, try to try to go with that shift that's, that's helping you to get towards that flow of, of staying more joyful. You know, let it take over. And, and again, keep practicing. It's, you know, a lot of times people say, you know, this is so hard. And, and I, I tell them, practice this, this appreciation game, practice calling up people and being of service, set meetings with other people that, that might have some hardship that's worse than yours. Um, volunteer. When I, whenever I volunteer, I always feel so much better. I, I actually get um, a higher vibration of the, from those people that I'm actually helping because they turn around and give so much gratitude back to me for that volunteering of trying to help in, in certain situations or giving of giving money, you know, whenever I give to a, a charity or a nonprofit or I'm giving to the, um, you know, everything that's happening and in other parts of the nation that you, you aren't there, but you can see that this is happening when you give, Give of your time, give of your love, give of your compassion. I promise you, you'll be able to surf and ride on that wave of positivity. And it's not going to stop because now you're going to know. I can be thankful for things that I have and change my emotional scale for the better because Everybody can do it. I have been there. I know you've been there. And it's all possible. That's what's so great about your life is that you have choices. And so when you choose to say, I am going to change my mindset to be more positive, then that's the way I can do this, right? I can help with being in that positive mindset so that I am in a better situation than I was before, right? That's, that's what it's all about, is how can you serve? How can you be more helpful to other people? And that law of attraction will attract more people to you because you have supported somebody and they are grateful for who you are. And you can be grateful for who you are as well. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I always love talking about these types of things. Um, looks like somebody just said, good morning. It was Sherry. Good morning, Sherry to you as well. And I hope you have a great week and think about these things. And if you want a copy of this, email me as well, or um, hopefully you can go back and look at the recording and, and look up emotional guidance scale. All right. Hope you have a great week. And I really enjoyed this topic. Bye-bye. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.